be responsible, do your best, and always remember to help the rest. Good morning, Glendale Gators. Uh, this is Principal Faust, and at first I want to say a few words of thank you. Um, you guys have been working so hard over the summer, and uh, we appreciate everything you're doing at home and, and to stay connected to our school, and that's really important, so thank you. But I am getting so excited because it's almost time to get back to school. Um, August 24th will be the first day back, and we've got some important information I want to share with you today to talk about. And remember, I'm always a phone call away. My number is 978-8056 if you have any questions at all. So please make sure that you give the big gator a call if you need anything. Um, and tell your scholar that we said hello. Uh, boys and girls, we miss you very much. We love you and we look forward to seeing you, whether it's virtually or on campus on the 24th. Here are some important updates as we move into the month of August. The teacher and staff have been working so hard to clean the building and prepare for the school year. We're doing training and we're getting updated on all the safety measures that we can put in place to make sure we are safe at school. We're transforming into a STEAM designated school this year, focusing on science in our own backyard. And boys and girls, you should see how hard the teachers are working. They're going to class, they're being great students, and they're doing an amazing job. And they're really looking forward to sharing this new information with you as you come back. Um, they've been hard at work in their class, cleaning, organizing, and really trying to space out areas so we can be safe at school. The focus uh, by our Gators is to strive for excellence in everything we do every day. And uh, we're becoming, we're going to be building you, the leaders of tomorrow today. Now, in reference to school safety, we have new routines in place, boys and girls and families, that we're going to go over with you um, during orientation and also that first two to three weeks of school. We'll be practicing all year and making sure we're safe. And we'll also be stopping every day and looking at the end of the day of what worked well and what we can improve on. And families, we need your help. What I want you to do is start talking to your kids about some new routines. Washing your hands, staying six feet or socially distanced from others when you're walking into a building, wearing a face mask, and how to properly use that. And we're going to teach that explicitly during our first couple days of school and then continue to practice, practice, practice. So it's going to be really important. So how can you help us families? If your child has a face mask, have them start practice wearing that. Um, show them the proper hand washing techniques and also how we can be safe not only inside but also outside. Um, we are also going to ask parents that you update your parent portal on focus because a lot of the documents you would generally sign in a classroom to send home and come back will be on that focus um, portal. So we'll be talking more about that when you come in for orientation. Orientation for option one, which is brick and mortar when students will actually come back to the classroom, is August 13th and 14th and it is by invitation only. And the exciting thing is, is your teachers are going to be calling today, Monday, Tuesday and Wednesday to set up that time. It could be anywhere from 8 to 7, and you have three options. You can do a conference over the phone, you can meet virtually, or you can come into the building and set up a time with that teacher to meet. If you do come into the school, we ask that you come with only your child so we can keep social distancing in, 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 in place. For options two and three, which are virtual and transitional, that orientation is going to take place on August 18th and 19th, and you'll be hearing from those teachers starting next week. Remember, all of the options are our own teachers from different schools around the county, so we're really staying connected. And you are a still a Glendale Gator if your options two or three. When it's time to come back to school and we're all safe, you'll still come back to Glendale, so don't, don't fret about that. Again, if you have any questions, make sure you contact me at 978-8056. And parents, we also need you to do one more thing. Please check out our Facebook web, our Facebook web page um, and join our PTA. The PTA has done some amazing things for our families and students over the years, and they continue to support us. Students, a reminder for you, you are amazing. We love you and we miss you, and I can't wait to see you guys. Now, we've got to come up with some new greetings, right, because we want to stay safe. So we're going to do some virtual high fives, maybe some foot taps, maybe dancing. And here is how we're going to hug. This is a virtual hug, and I can't wait to give hundreds of virtual hugs that first week of school. Please keep reading and exploring every day, helping around the house, and being of maximum service to your family. 
And don't forget to be responsible. Do your best. And always remember to help the rest. Help the rest. Boys and girls, we love you. We hope you are safe. And families, one other reminder is when we meet up on orientation, if you have any questions at all, please talk to the teacher or send me an email or call me at 978-8056. It's great to be a Gator and working together we can do so much more. Love you guys.